Finish. No, please. So F one F one is equal to zero minus eighty. Zero minus eighty. See, once this is eighty, then along the negative y axis, then it can also be here. Okay. So if I take it from this point, this can also be 80 sine 180 as against 80 cos 180. Meaning that I'm locating this vector, but when I consider the angle from the positive y angles, I turn to an angle of 180. But since here I'm considering the angle to the y angle, that's why it's a sine cos, sine cos. And if I'm considering the angle to x, then I know x component will be zero, y component will be negative eight. And so here sine 180 is zero, cos 180 is negative one. So it will give you the same results as this. All right. F2. F2 would be 45 cos 30, 45 sine 30. If I'm considering to the y axis, then this would be 45 sine. 60, 45, cos 60. So whichever way you look at it, the volume must be the same. Sine 60 is root 3 on 2. OK. So it's only 2.5 root 3. 
root of 3 and cos 60 is half. So 22.5. F3 The angle to the y at um, x axis is 45. That's uh, sorry, 25. So 30 cos 25. 30 sine 25. Now x is negative, y is positive. So Minus, minus, and a positive this. We can also consider the angle to the to the y angles. The angle from the y axis, from the y axis, and we we'll have the x components to be thirty sine seventy five. No, is this 75? No, 65. Thirty sine 65. And it's a negative because it lies here. It will lie here. And then the y will be 30. Cos 65. And it will be a positive value. I can also do it this way. When I take the angle from, from Y, I have to turn through 180, 90, so 270. 270 plus 25. What is 270 plus? 295. Pardon? 295. 295. So I can also look at it this way. 30 sine 295. And then 30 cos 295. And I must get the same result. So there are so many ways to, to play with this cat. <laughs> so when you finish, summation f of x, which is equal to f1 x, f2 x, F3x. So zero plus twenty two point five root three plus you didn't evaluate evaluate this for me. Thirty or twenty five. Pick any of them before. They will all give you the same result. So pick one of them and then tell me. Oh. 27.1. 27. And it's a negative, right? Minus. 27.2. Yes, please. 27.2. And this is what the final answer. Negative what? Negative. Um. Hey, a lot of you are quiet. Don't try to retrain my hand. Ah, wait, zero point. 
Karen. Hey, you girls are tired. We are almost finishing, so Nana Jim, why are you there? Oh, wait, this. I'm getting a positive value. 11.77. Yes, please. Yes, please. Yes, please. Yes, please. All right, that's it for summation f of x. Summation f of y. F1y plus F2y plus F3y. And these are minus 80, then 22 plus 22. Point five, then plus sine sine twenty five, sine of twenty five, this times that twelve point six eight. 12.68. You put them You said, yeah, if you make it 12.7, I still correct. Oh, but we have 12.678, so we have to run it. Okay. Okay. Okay, thank you. Please, let's finish. We, we are almost through, so minus. So this is giving me minus minus forty four point eight two. Mr. Yeah. Jack, please, what is the minus twelve point six eight not negative? No, this is a f three y is a positive. F three y is a positive. Sine of thirty five times. Times that. All right. Yes. Okay. So R becomes square root of summation f x squared plus f y squared, which is um eleven root of eleven point seven seven squared plus. 44.82 and now give us the result. Therefore, the direction, and look at the direction, you have to consider the angle. Let's let's finish that. The positive, the summation x is a positive along here. The summation y is a negative along here. So the resultant will be here. Okay. And so this becomes the direction theta. This becomes the direction theta. Therefore, tan of theta, which is equal to summation fy over summation fx. And fy is 44. 0.82 on on 11.77. So you take this ratio and then the term of this. So 44.82 divided by 11.77 and other 3.807. 3.807. So Shift tan inverse of 8.307 is equal to 83. So it means theta is 83 degree. If this is 83, approximately 83 degree, then if I'm locating it from the y axis plus 90. So 83 plus 90 will be the direction of the resultant 
from y axis from the x axis, it means I have to turn through a number of bits to locate it. Once you get um, the resultant and its direction, the equilibrium is that simple because the equilibrium is always opposite to the resultant. All right. So this will be the direction of the equilibrium. Okay. This is 83. This will also be 83. So if I, if I subtract 83 from 90, I have seven. So to the y axis in an in an anti-clockwise direction, I will take this. If I want to turn through this, oh, then I have to go through 270 plus 83. This is 270 plus 83 to locate the equilibrium. So that's the direction of the equilibrium. Mr. Gia. Hello. Mr. Gia. Hello. Please turn inverse of 44.82 on 11.77. It's not 83. Sorry. The, I'll what change. Is the Divide 44.82 by 11.77. 3.081. No, 3. Yes, 3.081. Oh, uh, no, 3.81. 44.82 divided by 11.77. Oh, 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 oh. That's three points. I think I took it as a. Say, in my so 3.807. So turn inverse of this shift turn inverse of 3.807. So that is 75. Okay. 75. Thanks for the correction. So it means this is 75. Okay, there's 75. So if I'm here, if I'm here, and I want to locate the result, this plus 90, 75 plus 90 would give me the direction of it from the, from the y axis. From the x axis, to locate the result, I have to change 75. That's the whole thing. Then if this is 75, this will also be 75. So 90 minus 75 will give you this. Okay. Which is also 15. 15. So if I want, if I'm at this point, I want to locate the equilibrium. Then I have to turn to an angle of 15 degrees anti-clockwise. Anti-clockwise. Or go through the whole thing. 270 plus 75, then I locate the equilibrium. So it is up to you how you want to turn. But if I'm here and I, I can easily turn to get this, I don't see why I have to go through this before. All right, so this is where we draw the curtains on today's meeting. But I hope you're okay. Are you? Yes. So sorry, yeah. Yeah, no. yeah. I have a question. Ask your question. Mr. Adias, please. So if you get the direction and the magnitude, you have to plot the graph. You don't need to plot the graph. All that we are looking for is the magnitude and direction of either the resultant or the equilibrium. And so that's it. Okay, thank you. All right. Do we have any more questions? So, in the absence of any further and better um, questioning and clarification, I bring today's meeting to an end. We will have another wonderful session, I think, on Wednesday. Please, the evening session meetings are actually on Mondays and Wednesdays. Then the morning session will be on Thursday. 
Okay, actually, it should have been today and Thursday, but today I couldn't make it because of the admission. So that's why I draw the curtains on today's meeting. Thanks for being around. Please revise and then continue solving trying questions on your own. As you do it, if you encounter any difficulty, please, you can WhatsApp me for any clarification. Until we meet again um, on Wednesday, please take care of yourself and bye-bye. Hey, sorry, Miss Deja. Bye. Bye, Miss Deja. Okay. Bye. All right.